is is part of the the blame that this is is part of the the blame that this is is part of the the blame that this <laughs> a lot. Uh, I, I, I know what's happening out there. I got a good, a, a real good idea. The entire theory that by expanding the electorate and increasing turnouts, you can win an election is, is the equivalent of climate denial. The entire theory that by expanding the electorate and increasing turnouts, you can win an election is, is the equivalent of climate denial. All right. The, when people say that, they're as stupid to a political scientist is, is a climate denier is to an atmospheric scientist. So, so whatever you do, if you want to vote for Bernie Sanders because you feel good about his program, uh, because you, you don't like the, the, the banks on Wall Street or you don't like pharmaceuticals, that's completely legitimate. I understand that. If you're voting for him because you think he'll win the election because he'll galvanize heretofore uh, sleeping parts of the electorate, then politically you're a fool. And that's just a fact. It, 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 it's no denying it. There's so much. There's so much political science. There's so much research on this that it's not even a debatable question. And if, if people are praised to this and they know that and they want to do it as Democrats, that's their own business. But I don't think that they have all of the facts that they need before they make this judgment going forward. James Carville and Nicole Wallace are describing what sounds, a, sounds a lot like political suicide. And um, I think we need a, a psychologist to understand that. I, I want to understand your loyalty to the Democratic Party, second only to that of the Marine Corps and LSU. So, James, uh, here's a... Um, Here's a rhetorical question. The, the, the Democratic moderates want Bernie Sanders to be president. I mean, that's maybe a, a too exciting a question to raise. They don't like Trump at all. Do they want Bernie Sanders to take over the Democratic Party in perpetuity? Well, I mean, he takes it over. He sets the direction for the future of the party. Maybe they'd rather wait four years and put in a Democrat that they like. We've all been on the on the receiving end of the of the Bernie online brigade, and here's what he says. He says no other candidate has anything like this sort of digital brown shirt brigade. I mean, except for Donald Trump. I'm reading last night about the fall of France in the summer of 1940, and the general Renault calls up Churchill and says, "It's over." And Churchill said, "How can it be? You got the greatest army in Europe. How can it be over?" He said, "It's over." So I had that suppressed feeling, I can't be as wild as Carville, but he is damn smart, and I think he's damn right on this one. Joy. Well, I mean, it's Chris, it's you know, I, 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 I don't know if I... It's obvious that Senator Sanders is going to do very well tonight. It's obvious that he's the front runner. He's the front runner. I, 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 I know what's happening out there. I got a good, a, a real good idea. They're going to kill him. But uh, I think it's a little late to stop them, and I think that's the problem. <laughs> but the, the Sanders campaign and the Trump campaign, they've taken these things to dark arts of abusing the press, of bullying the press. I mean, what, what do we miss in terms of paying attention to a squeaky, angry minority and ignoring the majority? And they are clearly, at least from eyeballing it, strongly in favor of Bernie Sanders. We've all been, we've been victimizing and encouraged and responded to all. You say one word, critical they, thing of they, Sanders. They, they, they dig through everything yeah. and they, they sort of attack like a pack of dogs. This is the choice. You choose what side you want, but be sure that you're as informed as you can be on the choice you're making. I think that's really what it's about. This is the makings of an ugly primary season coming ahead of us and the makings of a potentially really ugly general election campaign by the way if you look at the pattern it's dynamic uh, bernie won the popular vote in iowa he won, he won it again in new hampshire it looks like he's going to win it here when they finally get a vote bernie's been winning consistently and i think it's mathematically understandable and bernie never stopped i was in san francisco yeah. in uh, like three years ago and bernie was there talking about medicare for all, all with eight thousand people and it wasn't even making the news so the rebellion never stopped and uh, I think that's what you're seeing. And, and the rebellion never stopped. The rebellion never stopped. So we're in a whole new ballgame here.